Hi there, this is A-Level Physics, Thermistor and LDR exam style questions. So what you should do is sketch this diagram, pause the video and attempt the questions. And then I'll show you how to do them. So the first question is to sketch a graph of resistance against temperature for a thermistor. So... You just plot resistance against temperature and you always get a curve that looks like that. You could exaggerate it a little more. Something like this. Essentially with a the thermistor, the higher the temperature, the lower the resistance. So the next question, explain what occurs to the voltmeter reading when the resistance of the variable resistor is increased and the thermistor is kept at a constant temperature. Essentially, if we increase the resistance of this variable resistor, then its voltage share must also increase, which consequently would mean that the voltage share that goes across the thermistor would decrease. Because there's only a certain amount of total, total voltage available to the circuit, you know, if the voltage increases in this region, it will decrease for the thermistor. Another way of thinking about it, if the resistance of the variable resistor increases, then the total resistance of the circuit will increase. If the total resistance of the circuit increases with a constant voltage, the total voltage will stay the same. If the total resistance increases, whilst the voltage remains the same, then the total current will decrease. So for the thermistor, where its resistance is constant, if its resistance is the same, but the current going through it decreases, then the voltage will also decrease. So that's two ways of getting the same answer, essentially. I'll try to put this into words, so we could say variable resistor, I'll just call it VR, variable resistor, resistance increases. So consequently the total resistance just do that, will increase. Therefore, the total current, let's put total I, will decrease. Then if we just look at V equals I R for the thermistor, its resistance is constant, but its current has decreased. So that would mean that its voltage share would also decrease. So the next part says, explain what happens to the ammeter reading when the temperature of the thermistor is increased. So if the temperature of the thermistor increases, its resistance will decrease. If the resistance of the thermistor decreases, then the total resistance of the circuit will also decrease. Therefore, the circuit will have an increase in current. Again, just Ohm's law V equals IR. More current comes from the fact that we have a lower voltage overall and the overall voltage stays the same. So overall voltage stays the same. We had a drop in resistance. Therefore, the current must increase. So in words... Temperature increases, therefore the resistance across the thermistor
decreases. So the total resistance would also decrease. Total current, or more specifically the reading in the ammeter, which is the total current, will increase. Hopefully that's okay. Let's have a look at the calculation then, part four. The battery has a voltage of 10 volts. At a certain temperature, the thermistor has a PD, or voltage, of 2.5 volts, and a resistance of 2.2 times 10 to the three ohms. Calculate the resistance of the variable resistor. If you spotted the typo there, well done. I think it says or in the question instead of of. So if the thermistor has a voltage of 2.5 volts, and the total voltage is given in the question as 10, then the voltage across the thermistor is 7.5 volts. So essentially all we need to do is, if we can get the current through the thermistor, then we can get its resistance. So we can get the current by getting the current in the thermistor. So we have the voltage and we also have the, have the resistance. So the current in the thermistor is voltage over its resistance. So that'd be 10 divided by 2.2 times 10 to the three. And that gives a current of 0 0.001136 amps. Because it's a series circuit, we know that that current is also the current that's going through the variable resistor. So the resistance of the variable resistor is its voltage divided by its current. So 7.5 divided by the 0 0.001136, which we just calculated. And that will give a resistance value for the variable resistor of 6,600 ohms. Let's move on to the next one. So if you want to have got this question, just pause it, sketch the diagram out, attempt the questions, and then I'll take you through the answers. So our first thing is to sketch a graph of resistance and light intensity. So nice and simple, same graph essentially as the thermistor one, just different values. So I use looks for light intensity. And it's the same, the same, same shape graph. So something like this. More light, less resistance. Nice and easy. So on this one, the three components are in series. And it's asking, first question, resistance of the LDR at a certain light, light intensity is 40 kilo ohms. The fixed resistor has a value of 7.5 kilo ohms. If the variable resistor is set at 30 kilo ohms, calculate the current. So the current would be the total voltage divided by the total resistance. So the total voltage is 8 and the total resistance is 77.5 kilo ohms. So 77.5 times 10 to the 3, which gives a current value of 0 0.103226 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. I wrote that long number because I'm going to use it again. I don't want to do a roundup error. So this leads straight into part three, calculate the voltmeter reading for the above conditions. So it's simply Ohm's law again, V equals IR. So the current going through the fixed resistor is what we just calculated, the 0 0.103226 milliamps, or times 10 to the minus three, multiplied by the resistance value, which is 7,500. So that gives a voltage of 0 0.77 volts. Hopefully that's okay. So I'm going to remove this and then look at the next part. So number part four, if the light intensity on the LDR decreases, explain what happens to the voltmeter reading. So first off, as the light intensity decreases, so I'll just put as the light decreases, the resistance of the component will increase, which means that the total resistance of the circuit will also increase, which consequently will lead to a drop in current, a total current in the circuit. 
So in terms of the voltmeter across the fixed resistor, if we just write V equals IR, so we can think about what's happening. It's a fixed resistor, so the resistance stays the same. The current, as we've just established, drops. Therefore, the voltage reading across the fixed resi resistor on the voltmeter will also drop. So, in words, light, intensity, goes down, resistance, sorry this isn't the neatest, resistance of LDR goes down, sorry up, let's put that up, total resistance, will also increase, which leads to a drop in current. Therefore, voltage drop on the voltmeter. Hopefully that's okay. Let's have a look at the last part, the calculation. So at a certain line intensity, the LDR is 7.5 kilo ohms. The voltage across the LDR under these conditions is 1.5 volts. We need to calculate the resistance of the variable resistor. So the first thing that we need to do is to establish the current. So we've got the voltage for the LDR, which was 1.5 volts, divided by its resistance of 7,500 which gives a current of 0 0.2 milliamps or times 10 to the minus 3 amps. So now we know the current that goes through the circuit, we know the current that goes through the variable resistor, we just need to know its voltage. The question gives us the voltage of the LDR, which is 1.5 volts. What you have to realise is that the resistance of the fixed resistor is the same they're now both 7.5 kilo ohms, so the voltage share on the resistor would also be 1.5 volts. So if we do 8 subtract the 3 volts, we end up with a voltage on the variable resistor of 5 volts. So to get the resistance for the variable resistor, we need to do voltage over current. So the voltage that we just established is 5 volts, divided by the current going through it, which is the 0 0.2 milliamps times 10 to the minus 3. So that gives a resistance of 25 kilo ohms. A tricky one. Hopefully you got it right. Well done if you did. Let's move on to the next one. So attempt this one if you wish. Sketch the diagram. Attempt the question. And then I'll take you through the answer. So this one simply says, if R1 is 2 kilo ohms and R2 is 3 kilo ohms, calculate the value of the thermistor if the voltmeter reads 6 volts. And then a what happens question. So, let's do the first part. So for the first one, what we need to establish is the current that's flowing through the circuit. And then the question, it gives us a voltage of 6 volts. So we know that that's 6 volts. The total, however, is 10 volts. So on this top resistor, the fixed resistor, we know that the voltage is 4 volts. So we can get the current in the circuit. So current is V over R. The voltage is 4 volts divided by half a kilo ohm, which is 500. Which gives us a current of 0 0.008 amps. So the total current that flows into this parallel section is 0 0.008 amps. What we need for this section, this parallel section, is the total resistance. So we can get the total resistance from voltage divided by current. The total voltage for the parallel section is 6 volts and the total current is the 0 0.008 amps, which gives us a total resistance of 750 ohms. Now that we've established the total resistance of the parallel section, I need to make some more room. So we can do 1 over the total resistance 
is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over etc. So we've got 1 over the total resistance, which is 1 over 750, is equal to R1 and R2 are 2 and 3,000, so 1 over 2,000 plus 1 over 3,000. plus 1 over R, which is the resistance of the thermistor. So if we do 1 over 750, minus 1 over 2000, minus 1 over 3000, and then do the reciprocal of the answer, that will give us the resistance of the component. So if you put that in your calculator, that gives the resistance of 2000 ohms. Hopefully that went okay. Now let's look at the last section. So, what happens to the voltmeter reading if the temperature of the thermistor increases? So if the temperature of the thermistor increases, we know that the resistance will decrease. Which means the total resistance of the circuit will decrease. And we should know now that if the total resistance decreases whilst the voltage remains the constant 10 volts, that the total current will decrease. So if the total current decreases, then the voltmeter reading for the parallel section will also decrease. Then you just need to put it into words as we've done in previous questions. So hopefully that went okay. Thank you.